Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're bouncing here on Iskul's giant bouncy castle to celebrate 1 million subscribers. For whatever reason, hitting this milestone has opened the floodgates of memories for making content for nine years. That is right, nine years. I started in 2011, and I can honestly say you have changed my life for the better, and I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my scarred heart, and if you subscribed just now or nine years ago, I appreciate you, I love you, thank you so, so, so very much, and hopefully nine more years of good times? Let's cross our fingers, hashtag nine more years of good times. So with that, let's get into today's episode. We're outside of our landscaping supply shop where we've got it all set up and ready to go. I added way more plants and details in here, so I think it is finally complete. We got bamboo, we got sugar cane, we've got some pickles on the kind of like the tentacles. I think it adds like a funny little detail to it. As for the products here, we have signage above all of them so people can see what it is and and how much it's going to cost. The miscellaneous landscape supplies are stocked and priced out, and I think it's fairly fair. I try to price things of what I would pay for something. New product here, we're going to sell brown and red mushrooms. The white stems are a little bit rare, and I still need some of those back at the Magical Village, so we'll sell those once we finished some other projects. And yeah, I think that is some good stuff for people to enjoy when they're landscaping. And as for the dirt, I might need your help here because it's five for one diamond for the grass and the dirt blocks worth it? I would pay that, but I don't know if anyone else would pay that because I love dirt blocks, best block in the game. And as for the shop's name, what if we name it after that old horror movie called The Little Shop of Horrors? But what if we called it instead, The Little Shop of Scars? <laughs> It's a silly name. Maybe it's terrible. So let me know in the comments. Is that a good name or a bad name or if you have something better? I still haven't found something perfect. So I want to get your feedback on that before we officially name it. Is it weird at all that I own two monster shops here in the shopping district? We got our landscaping shop and our chess monster shop. But I like them, right? They have a little bit of charm to them. But in today's episode, we may very well. What in the world? Oh, our lecture must have broke. Yeah, <laughs> we're just going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. But as I was saying, we very well might finish the magical village in today's episode. But before we do that, I got to head to the end and fix my elytra. <laughs> this is slightly peculiar. I am in permanent fly mode after coming out of the end. Ouch, what in the <gasps> Um, what's going on here? Did I come into an alternative universe? <laughs> Don't tell me my cats have become zombies and I'm just destroying my crops. I'm like a combine here just tearing up the wheat. <laughs> Help me get out of here. <laughs> Help. I can't. No, 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 no. They're going to box me. They're going to box me. No, 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 no. No. I, I, I'm going to die and I can't fly. No. <laughs> That's so embarrassing and there's so many people on today. How is this possible? How is this possible? I'm literally flying with a cape. With a cape. This cape is so magical and so powerful. I'm an alligator now. A magical alligator swimming through Hermitcraft. Oh, hi, Green. Hi, help me, please. Okay, Green has killed me. Hopefully this helped. I am a wizard. A wizard who can fly with no elytra. <laughs> I love that so much. And now I'm a worm. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing that's ever happened on Hermitcraft. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the best day of my life. Okay, just ask Green if I can get some rockets because I'm curious to see if I can fly with rockets. No, that would have been so cool to fly with the rockets. So I can only glide old school Elytra flying right now, pre-rockets. With all the commotion, didn't realize that the zombie cat villagers <laughs> have my elytra sword and armor. Hold on, I don't want Grim to kill him. Okay, there we go. Um, quick question here. One, can we get the stuff back without killing them? Two, if he hit me with that sword, would it still have all the enchant? Oh, I'm back. 
Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I am once again a normal wizard, not an evil sorcerer. Yeah, I'm just feeling good. Green, don't go in that corner. Oh, don't. No, I can't help you. I, all I've got is a pile of leaves. I I can't I can't get him with that. I've got no weapons. <laughs> oh, no, you no, come back. Oh, you left me to die. You left me to die. Oh my gosh. Not with my own sword. So it looks like Grian is trying to cure <laughs> these zombie cat villagers. I wonder once they're cured if he will drop my pants, my shoes my elytra, and my sword. <laughs> Let's see if he does. Oh, it is a Hermitcraft miracle. He has been cured and he dropped my stuff. <laughs> oh, he's no longer a cat. <laughs> that makes me sad. We lost another one, but Grian's cured him. He's given them the potion. He's given him the apple. So hopefully this guy will be cured in a minute. And it looks like we may have, yeah, we lost the other one. And definitely this one over here, too, is just completely gone. But it looks like the cats in the walls are still safe. So that's a good thing. All right, let's see if the minecart system under the wheat farm picked up the rest of my items because <laughs> I had a lot of tools on me that I need back. Oh, this is great. So the overflow system is picking up my items. So we got our golden carrots, got our ocelot heads. Our jelly hiss is back in our inventory. Absolutely fantastic. So let's get resituated and restart this episode. <laughs> I waited and waited and you guessed it, waited some more for my tools to come through that overflow chest and it never came. Unfortunately, most of my tools despawn except for one that was Jelly's Catbox Scoop Shovel, and Grian has it over in the shopping district. So we're gonna head over there and start on that town hall. All right, so guys, we are we are here to hopefully build up the town hall. You guys got my, my letter, my signs? What we need is a building big enough to put all of this in. All of this daimondes in. Ooh. Oh, no, careful. Okay. All right then. Yeah, we, we can do that. You don't want to break me out? <laughs> the, it's, it's hollow? It's a diamond heist over here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I got three diamonds here. I'm just put those back. I don't think we need to be scared of it because we're going to be moving this anyway. we got to take all of this down and move it over. Have oh you ever goodness. tasted diamonds? Okay. Like just went up there and just gave it a little lick. No. 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 Dude, it's tasty. Just give it a, just give it a try. No. This is one of those wizard things. Yeah, this, is, this, is this is a wizard <laughs> thing. This yeah. is a wizard thing. Hey, hey right. you know, you know, don't don't believe me, but I'm just gonna enjoy the taste of diamonds over here. It's fine. Okay. So beat up. Should we that. do this um and leave him to the? Yeah, <laughs> you can lick that, and then we'll build it. Okay, I'll see you guys later then. Did, did you <laughs> want any of these shulker boxes full of supplies, or you know? Oh yeah. Ah okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need, yeah, I need that. We do All right, we should it. we um should we choose a spot? I was thinking behind the redstone shop because it's like the only place that's got enough space. It's getting yeah. a little crowded yeah. here, a bit disorganized to be quite frank. That's kind of why we need someone for mayor. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I've, I've got something to show you, fellas. Ooh. I've got something to show you before we start. Boom, <laughs> Mumbo wow. for mayor. What better man to organize the shopping district? That's a really that's really nice. Wait a second. This, is that his back head hair? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it's not actually the mustache. I see. No, it's not the mustache. It's, it's the it's the bargain stash. This is the one from the back of his head. That is really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be building the town hall, and then uh, hopefully we can get everyone to support Mumbo. Uh, really? Yes. It's a sun is setting. We have to. <laughs> this is my service to the community. <laughs> I, are you right? Hey. Don't do that. This is important. There, there's going to be things in the sky, phantoms, and you'll see. Don't. Don't. Please. You were breaking okay, him. Here we go. You were, oh, God. You were breaking Good him. Good sleep. Don't. Here we go. This is it. No. No. <laughs> hey, you owe me some doors. What? Yeah. All right, let's start yeah. this build then, dudes. Let's start this. Let's start this build. Okay. You ready? Let's start this All right. Build, yeah. Let's start to build in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. It's a wonderful morning. It's time to build.
how many how many hours six six hours later in one six. sitting i really like it i'm not gonna lie i think i think we, oh. we nailed this we have more more things to come on the design i oh, know i'm done no i've had enough oh, no i was thinking about we six could fill hours. in this area six with some more trees <laughs> more you trees want... yeah here i was gonna throw you guys some leaves here come here i'm gonna give you no, we can no, maybe work no, no, no. there's enough trees no. Dude, there can never be enough trees. Let's go and have a look inside. We've kind of left the interior um, up for imagination, shall we say? You get a good view of the uh, shopping district, but the the highlight here is the diamond throne. This is forget mayor. This is what we're really after on the server, right? Yes. Uh, not the title. We're after the, we're after the the seat, the diamond throne. Ah, oh. Scar. Oh, this is nice. Oh. I like this. You look nice up there. Oh, he's he's, 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 very, like, he's all decked out with his armor and he blends in. Oh, I, yeah. I, I feel at home up here. I like it. I like it a lot. You look at home up there. Don't get any Don't get any ideas. Remember, oh. wow, there we go. Oh, That's of right. Course. Of <laughs> course. Of for course. Mayor. Oh, right. <laughs> for sure. Right. Definitely. Only one, one piece of facial hair that's going to end up on that throne. That was an absolute blast building the town hall and the terraforming with B dubs and Grian. But we've got that all done now. And the last thing I wanted to do before I headed out of here was to sit once again on the diamond throne. I had to break into the town hall, as you can see, to uh, sit here one more time and just kind of envision what it would feel like to have this much power. But I'll be honest with you, the real, real reason I broke in here, I wanted to taste the diamonds one more time. <laughs> After we did finish, I came back and updated the exterior landscape just a little bit to add a bit more of a formal landscape. And the reason I did that is I didn't want the town hall to look abandoned in any regard because I feel like a mushroom biome looks really cool with a bit of a overgrown look to it as we have these bushes all built up looking super fancy, but having it be a little more manicured in the front allows the area to look more formal and operational and not like somebody abandoned it. So I think that looks good. Let me know because I'm sure you've seen both of the differences. And um, yeah, so there we go. Town hall now complete. Look at how beautiful this lead up to the village is now with the wizard's tower, the trees flanking the sides here. Oh my gosh, this place makes me so happy. And you can tell that the trees are getting more bushy as we go because the more leaves that I harvest, the bigger our trees will get. And now it is time to finish off this village with a bunch of massive builds. So the first thing we are going to do is connect each and every one of these trees together via rope bridges. We're also gonna build like a little tree house up in each one of the trees here. And we'll have a connection from the portal up to that tree. And you could take the rope bridges all the way back to the village. I think it's a really fun extra detail. Small things that I'd like to do is add a windmill back behind the farm. So that's kind of a fun little uh, touch back there just to fill in that area. I'd also like to add maybe a couple other animals to the area, maybe like a bee or a butterfly or something along those lines. And of course, we still need to add one additional. <laughs> we need to add one additional snail named Stan, because for whatever reason, I always call Larry Stan. So I thought, you know what? We're just going to build another snail and its name is going to be Stan. For the longest time, I could not figure out why we were losing our villagers. We lost our chicken villager. We lost everyone over here, the angry bee. Well, turns out I built six unattentional mob farms that are my trees. Who would ever have thought that a tree could be an unattentional mob farm? I hope all that stuff sounds fun because it really excites me and inspires me to add all of that. But before we get to any of that, we got to tackle our greatest challenge, a challenge that plagues us every season. And that's our chest monsters. And this chest monster is blocking the entrance to the village. And yeah, we got to pack all this up and move it somewhere. Oh, we have finally cleaned out all of the chest monster down below. And I am very happy to see that we have a lot of room in front of the entrance to the village. Now within the chest monster, once I was organizing, I found some treasures. One of them, an IOU from Rendog for 20 stacks of logs. That is a lot of logs. And we found the Kagoom. Wow, I just 
totally just cracked my voice. We found the Kaguma key and yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just completely cracked my voice there. We found the Kaguma key and uh, yeah, we found some nice little treasures in the boxes. But with that, it is now time to build out this village and complete it. Tree houses, rope swing bridges, bees, and all sorts of beautiful little details. Oh, and windmills back in the corner there. It is going to be truly awesome. But the only way to do this properly is to hit super fast build mode. So let's do it. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves some absolutely massive tree house walkways that lead in between each one of them looking super fancy where we have little houses sticking out of the side of trees with walkways that even have a little bit of gravity influenced in their design and that took a very long time it's easy to make straight lines in minecraft but when you try to add a bit of shape to it and when they're in the air, these simple little walkways actually encompass two days of work to get all of this installed. And let's fly ourselves up onto one of these rope bridges and we can see just the sheer amount of detail in them. And the fun part about them is that you can see down into the water through the oak trapdoor. So that gives it just a little bit of danger feeling as you're walking across here. But you'll also notice we have our trees poking in and out of the foliage there. And this whole system connects. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> that is not scar safe. As I was saying, eventually I want to get a ladder that'll take you up to this house and you can walk down here and walk all the way around here and then down into the village. It's just a fun way to enter the area and look at this. We even have a rope swing bridge leading right into the wizard's tower, tying it all together beautifully. But something that I just realized that we forgot was the windmill behind the barn and some kind of entrance here to make a more prominent entrance into the village. So give me a moment. Let me think about what we can do with that. We now have a beautiful entrance arch leading right into the village and yeah, I like this. I think it gives it a nice little entrance way here, a little pop of color, a little tie back to the crystals. So I think that is looking nice. So with that, I want to head to the end because it has been a while since we last looked at Team Green's treehouse. Turns out we've got a chest monster here in the nether too that we need to clean up. And as I flew up here, I thought I left this pile of scaffolding here. So I literally was like starting to tear it down. And then I realized, wait a second, this is, this is purple team's base. <laughs> Oh, purple team, I feel so sorry for you. you. You you don't have anything even in your chest. You know there's a beautiful tree right here that's welcoming. We're going to have cookies soon, courtesy of Etho if he joins. So it's going to be amazing. And Pigmen apparently love it too. So you're welcome, purple team. 
you're welcome in our tree. So with that, I do want to build a little board right here showing who and who isn't on the green team so that maybe we can even get a green team meeting going soon and then maybe add a little bit of green around the tree in terms of carpet because all the landscaping ideas that I had for this tree are not going to work in the nether with gas and spawning. The green team sign aboard is ready to roll here. The idea behind it is you place your head to join green team. So we're gonna place our head right up there. And yeah, I mean, that looks just fine. We'll hopefully have some more green team members add their heads to it. We can meet up and maybe do some little bit of a shenanigans around the server to promote green team and there we go my friends i hope you enjoyed this absolute mega episode of amazingness where we built the town hall with green and b dubs we built out these absolutely massive tree houses with rope swing bridges attaching them we've got the entrance down below here now and we did a whole bunch of other little things around that i have even showed you guys there's way more mushrooms there's more crystals to be had and yeah for now that is it i've been working on this video for days so i hope you enjoyed and once again thank you so much for the support over nine years hitting a million subscribers i cannot thank you enough for stopping by hopefully enjoying the video and until next time this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you believe the videos are rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll See you later, and don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scared for life.